Hey, it's John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com. We are tasting beers as we typically do every week here on the YouTube channel. And uh, today, we are drinking a Soriachi Ace IPA. There's a little bit of a story behind this. A guy named Alexander from Germany wrote to us to our dudes at BrewDashDudes.com email address. And he had a recipe for this IPA. He was doing a whole bunch of IPAs, but uh, there was one in particular that he was brewing um, fairly uh, recently, and uh, I said, you know what, I can brew that too, so it'd be a pretty cool intercontinental across the Atlantic Ocean swap. So the one we're tasting right now is mine. Uh, it is uh, it just finished in the bottle, and I'm going to be shipping this across the ocean soon. Um, if it wasn't going on a business trip uh, this week, we'd be going out tomorrow, but we're not doing that, so uh, we'll be you know, going out uh, later on. So. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about the um, the grain bill and the uh, what kind of hops are in here. Because it's not just Sariachi Ace, but that's what we finished with. The grain bill includes 92% uh, pale ale malt. I think I used Maris Otter for this. And then 8% uh, Carahel to give it a little color. Uh, the hops, we uh, bittered at 60 minutes with uh, Magnum. Uh, and then uh, Sariachi Ace at uh, a few different times, I think 10 minutes ago, 5 minutes ago, at uh, flame out and then dry hopped with that. A um, little bit of uh, Irish moss, we fermented with uh, Safe Ale US 05 and that's that. Um, fermented at uh, room temperatures in the basement and uh, I want to get Mike's perspective on what he picked up. We've done other tastes, tastings of beers we've done with Sriracha Ace. Um, what's your thoughts, Mr. Mike? Well, I love the um, the color is nice. It's a little cloudy still, but it's it's got that nice sort of pale orange color to it. Um, the foam is great. The foam is hanging in there. Uh, I've poured a little bit more and drank some. Poured a little bit more, um, but the foam, I you know, it's got some good stability there. The first aroma I get is like um, I do get some of that classic citra, but uh, it's almost to me like a candied orange peel, <laughs> um, tangerine type of thing. I mean, it's def definitely citrus, right? It's all citrus. Um, the body is like nice and medium, and the the hop flavor carries through with more citrus, more orange. Really, I get like orange out of it. Huh. Sort of reminds me of Amarillo for some reason, but yeah. Um, a lot of people sometimes complain with the uh, Sriracha Ace that it's too like furniture polishy lemon like but yeah. this I don't really get a lot of lemon I just get nice citrus more of a mellower citrus. It's funny because I'm getting a little bit more lemon in it but also dill when I was bottling mm. this up I got a little bit of like there was like this dill aroma coming mm. from the beer and I'm getting a little bit now I wish I could say that um, I was getting as much as I, as I was when I was bottling it but um, yeah, I think it's uh, citrusy. It's a uh, good tasting, a nice lacing there. Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, I like the finish. I think the uh, the magnum for bittering in there is yeah. just enough. It's well balanced. There's the hop character on the the later end, and then there's a comfortable, happy bitterness from the magnum um, in the front end. Yeah. So a little bit different than like the sriracha Ace smash type of setup. Yeah, true. Um, but I was I was um, I was interested in because we've well, we've brewed with this hops before, and uh, a couple of years ago it was very much lemony, uh, and I wonder if just uh, different years have different uh, flavor uh, profiles because the dill mm. in this I did not get the last time, and I've seen that as a descriptor, sure. and certainly it was there. I'm still maybe I'm getting a little bit there, so. Um, so it's definitely interesting to, to brew with uh, hops that you know from year over year over year and see if you mm, can remember, yeah. use your memory to compare and contrast, you know, uh, this latest crop with ones that you've brewed with, especially these new uh, varieties that are coming out. I'm sure they'll change over time. So that's that. Alexander, you'll be uh, getting my beer soon. I'll be shipping it across. I'm sure that won't be a, a cheap uh, package to send, but... Uh, it's for the love of brew. Hey. So, so and then when we get his, we'll, uh, we'll, have, camera. we'll have that taste too. Sweet. Maybe we'll do a side by side cool. again. So, 
for Dynamite, BrewDashDudes.com. Brew on. Cheers.